Welcome to another edition of the Psycho PowerShell Extensions Training Series. Hi, I'm Michael West. Today I'd like to walk through some short examples of using PowerShell from within Psycho. And as always, you can download the module from the following URL, check out our blogs, and contact us directly. So the first thing I'd like to do is open up the PowerShell ISE. Go full screen. And as you can see here, uh, there's quite a bit of options that you have. It's to bring some familiarity to the PowerShell ISC in Windows. And let's say the first thing I want to do was to get help uh, on an item. Well, one example that you could do is highlight the text for the command that you want, then press and hold Control and hit Enter. And then you'll get a, a nice little preview window of all the details in the help. Uh, this is a great way to uh, view examples. So if I scroll down, you can see how to use uh, get item. Uh, this is uh, help directly from Windows PowerShell. And then you can hit escape to exit out of that. And then I'm going to go ahead and execute all of these uh, commands. And then an output below. So similar to that window that popped open, I get details on how to run get item. And then I see a list of items that are under the uh, home that were created by the admin. And we get a list of all the commands uh, that were that are implemented in the Sitecore PowerShell extensions module. So you can scroll through here and you see things like execute script. So you could create a script and save it and then um, run that script on demand uh, without having to open it directly. So from within the ISC or within the console, you can just run this command and point to where that script has been saved and then it would just run. Um, if you wanted to install the update packages, such as packages generated by TDS, uh, or if you wanted to uh, import a package such as uh, this particular module, uh, or any other that you've created. So for example, you wanted to back up all the media library from one environment, transfer it into another, then you could run import package and it would import it and stuff it into the system. Uh, so I encourage you to experiment with all these commands, uh, figure out which ones work best for you. And if you uh, have any recommendations, feel free to log on to the GitHub site and post in requests or feature requests. Uh, bugs, whatever they may be, you know, feel free to do that. And uh, just one other thing I want to show after running the get child item command. When it returns the commands in the IC, you can click on it and it will open directly into uh, the content tree. And then you go make edits directly. And I'll show you real quick the PowerShell console. So similar to the IC, you can run commands. And they don't need to be specifically uh, module commands. So, uh, in the previous list that I showed here, all of these commands were implemented as commandlets from when from within the uh, Sitecore PowerShell extensions module. Um, however, you can still access uh, native PowerShell commands from when it's here. And that's all for today. See you next time.